This model is of a Liebherr HTM804 mixer and it's mounted on a Mercedes-Benz Actros chassis. This vehicle is unusual because it's got a built-in conveyor to help place the concrete and it's in the colours of Michler and Mohr, a German company. This model is a little bit unusual for a Liebherr machine because it comes in an NZG branded box rather than the usual Liebherr branded box. And that probably indicates it's discontinued from the Liebherr model program. There's no information about the real machine or the model provided and it comes in the usual pair of expanded polystyrene trays. There's quite a lot of packing on this model and that's to prevent the movement of the parts in the box and therefore chipping the paint. But the flip side of that is that you have to be careful how you remove it so here I'm carefully using a knife to try and cut it free. This particular packaging is not frustration free so you need to make sure you don't slit your own wrists when you get angry. Unfortunately the review model had a problem as the main conveyor ram was broken so a replacement part was quickly obtained. And to fit that it's fairly straightforward because the parts are held in place by a friction rivet so you need to push one end out and then with a pair of pliers you can just remove the pin as much as you need to to be able to replace the part. Once the new parts are fitted then it's a matter of just pushing the friction rivet back into place. So it takes a few minutes and you have to be careful not to damage the paint or anything but it's a repair that's not too difficult. The Actros chassis is typical NZG with lots of metal parts and only the steering is functionally modelled as a compromise. The tyres are all the same on every axle but the wheels are quite good, nicely detailed with wheel nuts visible. The Actros cab is good looking and well detailed with nice door mirrors, very good lights and a realistic number plate. One interesting aspect is the high quality and unusual graphics of the Michler and Moore company. Behind the cab there's a silver exhaust and other equipment modelled in plastic but it's quite detailed. Liebherr is in the top 10 of construction equipment suppliers in the world and it's a privately owned company. One tradition it's had for many years is a strong scale model program and it covers all their main products. One good thing is that Liebherr usually insists that their models are of a high standard. If you're interested in Liebherr models there's a separate review index on the Cranes Etc website. The mixer engine and water tank are modelled in metal and the Liebherr name is rendered sharply in graphics. On the mixer drum the paintwork and Michler and Moore graphics are really attractive and at the rear the access platform and ladders are modelled in metal but slightly on the thick side. The lights are modelled with lenses and the stabilisers are screw threads. The conveyor is all metal and that includes the belt which is painted black to look like rubber. It looks okay and it's nice that the rivets used are small and can hardly be seen. Now a word of advice from the Cranes Etc team, never put your fingers into holes they're not meant to go in. On the test track it rolls just fine, although going backwards and forwards like that will certainly mix up the concrete. As usual for NZG there's no working suspension or movement in the axles. But the wheels spin fine and at the front the steering's got a good mechanism and it can go to quite a hard lock even more than shown here. So it poses well with the steering set. To set up the conveyor the first thing to do is to lower the stabilisers and they are just screw threads which can be unwound. And if you really wanted to, you could pose the model with the rear wheels off the ground. With the pads down, you can raise the main conveyor and then swing it out. And if you want, it can be rotated right round to the other side of the machine. To put it in an operating mode, it needs to be flattened out, so you can use the hydraulic rams to do that. But they are very stiff, although that does mean it will hold any pose that you set. There's also some movement available at the discharge end of the conveyor. And when it's all stretched out, it's quite impressive. At the back there's a little bit of a clash between the chute and the conveyor, so you need to put the chute in with the conveyor out to the side and then rotate the conveyor around. However, one thing that's always nice to do is to spin the drum and this one's no exception. And it'd be fun to see a real machine spin that fast. The last feature on the model is the working access ladder which folds up and down. In summary, this model is well made and up to NZG's usual standards. It's got a high metal content with good detailing, and it's certainly an attractive looking model in the unusual colour scheme. If you like collecting concrete trucks, then it's recommended. <laughs>